Hey guys, what's going on? So as you can see, I got this closure unbleached and unplugged, and I'm gonna take the BW2 bleach with, the, with my 30 de volume developer, and I'm gonna pour it in this little bowl that I got. Not too much though. And I'm gonna add some developer. I got all this stuff from my local beauty supply store. And I'm just gonna mix that up. I don't like to put too much because I wanna see like if the consistency is right. So this was still a little too thick, so I just added it a little bit more. So usually I like my um, my bleach a little bit runny, not runny runny, but thick, but slightly runny. And um, cause I feel like it kind of helps with um, bleaching the knots. Like it doesn't just sit on top of the lace. It kind of goes through the lace a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. You'll see what I'm talking about towards the end. So as you can see here, I'm bleaching the whole thing, especially the baby hairs. Like you want to bleach closer to the front. And now I'm just going to let it sit. I let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes, something around there. So now I'm just looking at it to see if I like it and everything. And it's looking pretty good. The, the knots lifted up pretty well. So now I'm going to take this neutralizing shampoo and wash out all the bleach. This stops the bleach from continuing to work and everything like that. So yeah, I just shampooed it and everything. And I liked how it came out. And as you can see now, it's just very natural, very, you know, very good. So now I'm going to rinse my hair. I bought this Clairol um, rinse size like BBD or 22D, something like that. But it's in jet black. And I'm going to rinse all the bundles and just dye them. This is It's a rinse. You can use it on permed hair or regular natural hair. So I love it. And it smells so good. So, yeah. Now I'm just going to massage it. Now this was the closure, and I was going to dye it on camera, but I don't play about my closure, so I just had to take it to the bathroom and dye it. But this was it after I washed everything out and everything like that, and um, I think it looks good. I got a little bit of dye on the closure, but it's okay. Scalp, honey, scalp. Hey, guys, so what's going on? So right now I'm about to head out get in my Uber to go to the nail salon. And um, yeah, I got on like this blonde old wig that I made. I'll probably show y'all how I made this wig, whatever. But it took so much damn work. I'm gonna give y'all the tea then. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, so I'm about to head to the nail salon. My Uber's on time. I'm gonna show y'all my little outfit of the day. So this is my outfit. Y'all know I always wear these slippers to the nail salon, so don't be asking me like, I always wear these. But um, yeah, so this is my outfit. Real cute. I got these shirts from H and M, and the shirt I got from Macy's. You know, got Biggie on and everything. So cute. But um, yeah. This sun is horrible right here. Yeah, y'all. I hope you guys are doing great on this beautiful Tuesday. And if you're not, please be great because you know I want everybody to stay blessed and happy. And um, oh, and guys. Pray for the Bahamas because the hurricane, Hurricane Dorian really got them so bad. And I just feel so bad. I was just seeing all the people's houses who were like, whose houses were flooded and their sofas is like swimming away and everything. Like, it's so sad. My prayers go out to them. Send your prayers out to the Bahamas. Do not donate to the Red Cross. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys when I get to the nail salon. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I picked, I decided on the color. I'm going to get $5.94. I think that's down to you. This color. All the other colors. Oh, no, no, it's not that. Right here. <laughs> I think I'll tap on that. But yeah. This one right here, I think I'm going to get that. Because it's like pink and new at the same time. The rest of the ones down here is too like pastel, giving me real Barbie vibes down here. But I think this one is a good one. I think it's neutral. I think it's neutral. I'm going to get that. You know how good it is to have my nose filled in right now. But 
Y'all know that feeling when your nails not fade and the hairs be getting caught at the top. It's become like it's gonna pop off any second. I be so annoyed. So thank you y'all. So, busted. Mm -hmm. Now you have a good time. Okay. Now you have a good time. Not this color. It turns you off. Yeah, 594. Oh, 594? Yeah, 594. I'll take a 594. Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm getting my tools done now. Yes, it's finished. I need to make this wig yet. Yeah. I guess I'll get back to y'all when I'm on my way to my house because I don't feel like turning back on this shit until I'm making a wig. So. Hey guys, look at my toes and my nails. I think this is my Uber. I don't know. Let me see. But look at my toes. I think this is it though. Legs, right? Okay. Let me know if y'all like this color in the comments. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely like my toes. So I will see y'all when I get into my room set up to start this week, you know, which y'all all been waiting for, so yeah. Hey guys, so I'm back. So as you can see, I got a mesh dome cap from my local beauty supply store. And right here, I just took a white um, NYX pencil and marked where I want my closure to sit. And this is my closure. And now I'm just pinning it down with some T-pins onto um, my foam head. I like foam heads because I feel like when you sew, it doesn't like the string won't get stuck in the um, in the canvas head. Like it will like you know like so if you just want to rip it apart, it's whatever. So I preferably like foam heads a lot better. But yeah, now I'm just sewing um, the closure down on the cap, so it's nice and flat, hunty. So now I'm just finishing up this side, making sure it's okay. And then I'm gonna move on to the next side. I usually like sewing my closures from the back of the closure to the front, instead of from the front to the back. So I feel like it's just a better way. So yeah guys, I'm just still sewing it, trying to make sure it's flat and good and all that good stuff.
So once that's done, guys, I'm just showing you guys how it's laid and how everything is all sewn down and secure. So now I'm going to add my first bundle and we're going to get to sewing. This first bundle was actually the one of the bundles from the Kendra's Boutique. So I'm actually putting in the first two bundles in the back and then the other bundles that I just had laying around, I'm gonna put those at the top. So as you guys can see, I'm sewing like near the band. When you are sewing on the band, do not sew through the actual band. Make sure you're just sewing through the top layer, like the top mesh part of the wig cap because when you are ready to cut the band you don't want everything to unravel come off and start falling off it's just going to be a hot mess so don't sew through the actual band of the wig So now guys, I'm on to the second bundle. And um, as you can see, I started moving a lot more upward because with making wigs, like the one mistake I used to definitely make was put like sewing too close together. So you definitely wanna even out and spread out your wefts as you're going up and making the wig. So yeah guys, now I finished off the two bundles and now I'm going to add um, the third bundle now. Actually, I think this is the fourth bundle. Sorry guys, so I think this is actually the last bundle. I don't think I really recorded the third one. So, okay yeah, I'm just finishing up the last bundle and as you can see I'm getting closer to the top. Okay yeah, and I finished, I'm done now. And I'm um, just showing you guys how everything is laid and um, how everything is sewn together. So you definitely want to sew the last weft and the closure together. And this is how it looks before it's all pressed out. And like I said, guys, you want to sew the last track that's near the closure. You want to sew it with the closure. So I don't sew it on the cap. I sew it with the closure as well. So I just cut off the piece of the cap that was covering the lace. So now that you just have the lace showing and then everything else. <laughs> so this is me putting it on and trying to show you guys how it looks before it's styled and everything like that. So now I'm just going to flat iron this wig out. I really don't do a good job guys. I'm not professional so don't look for some professional shit. I'm not professional. But I am just straightening it out. And I think I'm actually going to get a wider um, flat iron because I feel like it just works better. You can take bigger pieces as opposed to like a smaller one. But it's still going to do the job for now. But yeah, I'm just um, straightening it out and yeah. So here I'm just making the part in my closure. And I'm going to go and um, pluck the, the lace. Because I didn't get to do it before, so I'm just going to pluck lace. Not too much, just a little bit. Because it's a closure, you don't have to like really get into detail like a frontal. So now that that's... Uh. So now that that's done, sorry, <laughs> I'm just going to comb it, comb it down, see if it's looking right, and flat, flatten up the top with my wand from Tai Chi. That's the one and a half inch barrel, I believe. So yeah, I usually do this technique a lot, 
with sew-ins or just anything honestly it just flans it just helps me flatten out the top i don't have a a hot comb so this does the trick but yeah and i took some cliff vermeer silkening straight silkening spray i think it's silkening spray and i just sprayed that at the top to like flatten it out but this is the hair all straightened out i'm just brushing it to show you guys how it came together and i think it looks really 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 nice it came out way better than i thought <laughs> but um i really do like it and um i just can't wait to try this bad boy one so it's a little close-up of the closure laid honey laid so yes this is me just straightening it trying to put it on and this is when i cut off the lace and um added a little got to be in the front but <laughs> i'm annoying <laughs> So yeah, I'm just straightening it again on the top of my head just to flatten it out. And I'm going to flat iron it and just like flatten it out with the wand just to, you know, make it form more to my head. And as you can see, it's looking a lot more, you know, better, more natural and laying a lot better. So I'm just flat ironing out a little bit more. So yeah guys, this is this is the hair, this is the wig. I'm in a whole bunch of love with it, okay, if that's even a thing. But I love it so, so much and I hope you guys loved it too. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.